check one two, maybe check one two. Transitional. One of the things that really can help them get along is 
some place to go to once they get out of transi transitional housing. So we are planning on building 14 more units to help out. Four, that's not enough. We it's not enough. That's all we can afford right now. We need to have some more aqua idols to do that. We'll do it. And so what else are they going to do? So housing and supportive living. You know what that is? Another issue we have is, as HIV and AIDS has gotten under control, as we say, other illnesses have started coming along. They started living longer now. So we find that the clients aren't dying of HIV and AIDS anymore. They're dying of natural causes. And what, so they're getting older. And they're, they're having younger, they're having older problems while they're younger. So what we've done is called supportive living, kind of like assisted living. But what that is, is we have nurses, so we pair them with island home care, we have nurses going into their homes to help them out. You were all living. You guys it's not me. Thanks, Thanks help. help. I don't know. Yeah, but you're here to spread the news. You're the guy. I know. I love that. Thank you so much. So wonderful. And thirdly, what the money's go to is education. Education and outreach is always important. We can do whatever we can to try and fix the problems, but preventive care is what we really need. So getting people out there, under, getting understanding of what they really are. Really, the age like 13 to 26 when they're really sexual active. Again, I'm a little older than 26. And, <laughs> I don't know about that statistic, but that's what we're trying to reach. Really get the younger crowd and get them to understand what's going on and how to protect themselves. Well, you guys are doing a great job. Well, thank you, Tom. We can't do it without people like you. We've got people like you coming out to help support us. So thank you for coming out. Thank you so much. Look forward to a great show. You can make it good. Uh, no, you know it will. It's amazing. I love you, love you. Thank you again. Jeremy Wilkerson, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, once again, welcome to Aqua Night Club and Aqua Idol. Uh, here we are, uh, let me just introduce you, if you don't know our bartenders, there's Amy over here, and Rick, and Aaron, and Aaron, I know, if you don't know, Aaron and his partner Lee over here, were the first to sue the state of Florida for marriage equality. So that's, it's almost there. We're almost there. It's just incredible. Thank you so much, I love you. You are incredible. Wow, that's overwhelming also. And in the, in the back is Cassie at the back bar. And ladies and gentlemen, the handsome, talented Nick as our DJ this evening. I know he's great. He makes everybody look and sound great. And it's time to introduce our judges. Our judges this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please introduce yourselves. I'm Frank, former king of Benjamin. Former reigning king of Benjamin. Former reigning Frank, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Oh, Frank, how are you? Oh, it's so good to see you. I know. For having me here tonight. It's always our pleasure. You know that. And of course, the lovely Stacy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Stacy, now what? Now, why are you here judging people? Because I'm a duchess. You're, you love to judge. She's so judgmental. I am. It's her whole problem. Just on the TV. But I'm a duchess of fantasy. You're a duchess of fantasy, Vest. I love that. You. I, love I know. You guys raised a crap load of money this year. We did, and I think we did it again. A crap load, I believe. Yeah. I miss you. Wow, I know. And of course, our returning uh, evil, evil, lovely. Evil judge. I'm, I'm Tony Conrad. I, I just can't be bothered to introduce myself tonight. Tony Conrad, the emphasis on the rap. I've, I've got a backache and a headache and my drinks too. Oh, you're killing me too. I'm telling you. My oh. drinks too. My drinks too. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Nothing is ever good enough for you. <laughs> so anyway, our judges, ladies and gentlemen. And I just want to say thank you all so much for coming out. This has been an amazing, uh, an amazing event. You guys are terrific. Um, let's see what we have. Our challenge last week was for them to sing one song from an animated film and one disco song. So tonight we have a special treat for you. Uh, usually singing would be Chuck, but in Chuck's stead tonight is former reigning king and returning hero. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Bill Heller! Yeah. Bill, where are you? Yeah. If they just look at you. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah. Hi, it's so good. Look, are you nervous? Uh, it's been a while since I've sang, so. <laughs> are you, you Hi, Tony. Look, ladies and gentlemen, it's I'm Bill back. Heller. He's back. I know. Did you miss me? Are you ready? Um, yeah, I'm sure. Okay, everybody, Bill, Bill, this is everybody. Say hello. Hi, everybody. Have a great time. And don't, don't, uh, 
Uh, don't embarrass me in front of my friends. Okay, I love you, bye.
you haven't grown any less noisy, you should consider getting a volume control. And if you carry on singing like that, you'll get nodules on your vocal cords. <laughs> Tony, you haven't changed a bit. What a shame. No. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Orgigal, how are you? Hi. Hi. Yo. Hey, Lord. 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 Yes. Lord. Lord. What event does Clyde have coming up? What event does he come in? Yeah. Clyde. Well done. No, we don't need to do that now. Well no. We'll do it later. We'll do everybody's. We'll do everybody's at one time. Next up, ladies and gentlemen. Next up is my great friend, one of the funniest people on the planet. I know, you know who I'm going to, you know who it is. I know, I, I, I've been fortunate enough to, to share the stage with her. Ladies and gentlemen, Jody Sullivan! Thanks, Wilkerson. You have never, these look great. You should always wear shells. You should always wear shells. Do you need a do you need a microphone here? There you go. Once again. Jerry Solomon! Emmy Alfred Queen! Looking for nice music and neat. Jody's 
performance. First of all, the hair is beautiful. And doing two words is trying to. You're incredible. She always could wear shells. So Stacy, what do you think? Joni, I just absolutely love how creative you are. And I, I can't even begin to tell you how sad it is that I think I want Joni to show you just mentioned. <laughs> Of course. Yeah, she watches that too. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm usually grateful that they put you on early because you're the spoonful of sugar that makes the medicine go down. But tonight, you will slap on the arse before they stick the needle in. <laughs> Whatever it's the nicest thing you ever said to me, Tony. Ever, that's so sweet, it makes me cry. Don't, don't, don't waste that one, it was really rather good. I, I, it thought, is, it? I thought about being nice to you and I thought, no, fuck it. Oh, you no. should hear the parts I forgot, they're really good too. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my friend, Shelby Sutherland. <laughs> Who are you performing for? Emma Alpha Queen. Emma Alpha Queen, yes. Emma Alpha Queen. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is Emma Alpha Queen. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is... Is it a very tall photographer guy? It is. I know. Well, you love him. I love him. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. It is the lovely and very lovely, extremely, oh. extremely lovely and yet tall. Larry Blackburn, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Can I can I borrow your mic, please? Thank you. You put that one back. You can have this. There you are, sir. Nick, are you ready? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Larry Blackburn! Larry, who are you recording for this evening? Singing for Shame for King. Shame for King. This little song comes from the movie Happy Feet.
that, Frank? What do you think? Well, uh, uh, first of all, the number one photographer in Key West. That's the guy that man. Number two, a big man with a strong voice. Thank you so much. Stay safe. I think he did an excellent job, but I do think he needs to leave the high notes of Freddie Mercury and George Michael. I thought that high note was great. So you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, Tony Conrad, what do you have to say? I'm warming to the evening. Larry, you're like the filter on a cheap cigar. You make the event bearable. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I, I don't know what we would do without you. <laughs> thank you, judges, and thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Robert. And you guys seem to be good on that, too. You did? So how are you? Everybody good? Yeah? I know it's pretty exciting, I know. Anybody have anything they want to say? Anybody celebrating anything? Other than, uh, you know, Fantasy Fest is coming, it's like here in a minute. I can't believe it. So if you have anything uh, you want to announce, let me know. We'll get to that. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, I believe. Yes. It's the stunning, beautiful, brilliant, I know, she's so great. From the Bible Town, ladies and gentlemen, it's Erin. You want the stand or just the mic? Yes. Here you go. Up here, hold this. Hold this just one second. You will do this. Yes, those heels. They're so tall. The most of tall is very black. I know, just a couple more inches on those heels and there you go. I don't want Tony to make fun of my shoes. She's got some good shoes on, Tony Conrad, if you're listening. So anyway, I understand that, uh, that everything's going well for you, and uh, you look great. And uh, do you know everybody here? You know everybody here, now cool. All right, then everybody, here's your friend. Here's your friend, Aaron. Aaron, this is your friend, say hello. Thank you, Aaron. This song is very short, but it's a good one. Oh, don't be nervous. We're all 
out here. We love you. You don't have to be nervous, darling. Frank, what do you think of Peggy Lee's interpretation? I mean, uh, her, Eric's interpretation of Peggy Lee. Harry. Who? Peggy Lee. We have Aaron. Thank you. is the fact that we've got Joe Reed next, okay? That was on my mind all the way through this. So you couldn't enjoy it's, this at all? I couldn't really enjoy it. Well, it's, it's like going from a feather, it's going like from a feather bed into a bramble bush. I, it's still, I know it's yeah, I may, I may it's escape. Totally, totally understand where you're I, I may escape and go and lecture it. I know, you know, last week I was ill. Yeah. I mean, because of the performance of Joey's I thought, before. I thought, you know, delayed action. There were a lot of people sick after Joey's performance oh, as yeah. a chair. And you, you, you were lucky not to be there because I tell you now, it would have brought you really down. Let's get on with it. Uh, <laughs> 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 I love you.
Hi, honey, how are you? It's so good to see you. Tessie. <laughs> you, you look lovely. Thank you. Doesn't she look lovely, ladies and gentlemen? I know. You know everybody here. Yes. Hi, everybody. Hi, Charlie. Exactly. Thank you so much. Nick, hit it. <laughs>
official like oh rhinoceros and giraffe. <laughs> Amazing. I know. Disco. Woo -hoo. Oh. Oh. I went to uh, the first disco in New York. It was called 12 West. I don't know if anybody remembers that place, but that was the first disco. Really? I know I was there. They didn't serve liquor because they were just so hot. Ladies and gentlemen, next up is my great friend. You took a yes. The shells work for everything. Here we go. Jody, everybody, here we go. Jody, have a great time. Hit it. Hit it. Facebook friends, because I wouldn't want you to put any nasty stuff about me in your song. 
And now Tony Conrad. No, Journey, we need a conversation, okay? They're raising, they're raising dollars for education. We need to bring back compulsory disco for middle schools. Okay? Wouldn't that be a good idea? Yeah. All these children deprived of proper dancing, of real music. I agree, as long as you can, I can wear my shell. Okay, meet him afterwards in this corner. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Sullivan! And give it up for Emil's costume. He's right here. I know, the best costume. I love you so, you rock. I know. I know, I know, I know. Well, ladies and gentlemen, up next is a very tall person. Yes, what? There you are. All right. When you're gonna, hey, well, come on up here. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get up. We're Larry Blackburn! <laughs> is, are you doing your own bucket now? Yeah, yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Now, why is there. Why are you missing a bucket? Oh, why have you done it? Oh, yeah, I see.
Um, that you should change your name to Very White. Thanks. I love you. You're great, Jody. I've been funny. Yeah. Yeah. Very, ladies and gentlemen, Very White. Very White. So, Frank. <laughs> I know. I love it. Everyone now, let's carry a Danny Vance Faber. God, you should go down there. <laughs> He's still really into the disco days over here. I know. Stacy! <laughs> I don't know about anybody else, but I think Aqua needs to uh, make it a little bit cooler in here right now. Yes! Yes! I had no idea that you were such a whore. No, 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 Larry, 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 I know you focused it on me to start with, but quite honestly, there are three hot and bothered people, and this seat is as sweaty as the weight bench at Iron Bodies. Yes. But there was more popping happening over here, I believe, tonight, I believe. That's what happened. What, what did you think about Larry's performance? You better be nice, some people take shitty pictures of you and put them on Facebook. No, put them on Facebook. Everybody looks like you just had a stroke. So, how is everybody? Good? Yeah. And, and, <laughs> Jeremy, yeah, if, 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 if you'd actually have a stroke, the problem will be over. So, uh, so over here, ladies and gentlemen, on the bar, we have Aaron. Oh, there's Roman. Roman, what, Roman, what are you doing over there? What are you, you're performing next, uh, you're up next. And we have uh, Amy and Rick at the bar. How are you guys doing over there, good? Everybody good? People are tipping, you don't have to like call police or anything? Do you have to tip? That's good, it's always good. So, anyway, I want to say happy birthday to Jody Ray Campbell. I know yesterday was her birthday. I love birthdays anymore. After, you know, after like 50, they just go, yeah, bring them on, come on. I would have saying 60 after 60, just bring them on. Yeah. Come on, Abby, come on. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, next up is, is it my favorite bartender? The most beautiful ever? Is it? Is it Aaron? Look, it's Aaron! I love you so. Somebody, see, you don't be nervous. You don't have to be nervous. These people are here to support you. They're not here to let you get laughs. They want you to do well, and they want you to give you money, and they want you to be brilliant. So you just enjoy that, bask in that glow, and know everybody here loves you. Right? And so do not be nervous. So, just don't embarrass me in front of my friends. What friends? Here you are, darling. <laughs> Here, hold this one sec. Oh, you got it? I'm good with that. You are good, aren't you? You are good with that. Ladies and gentlemen, please show lots of love and make her not nervous. Show lots of love for our friend Aaron!
Could you just remind the audience that I am available for children's parties? And Brisses. And Brisses Brisses and children's parties. Okay, okay, go. Get out. Go. Get out of here. I love that man so much. Actually, I'll tell you something about the night we went out drinking. This is about 15 years ago, I think. I don't know. So anyway, who's next? Who is next? It is. Who is it? It is Jody Ray. 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 Hey, hoo, ha, hoo, ha. Oh, hello. I love you. You sure have a pretty mouth. Jody Ray performs while they're counting all the last money to find out who comes back next week. Right. We have a special guest star. I already put one on your So this is our last time with with uh, with money. Jerry, where are you? And uh, do we not get rid of four contestants? We get that? rid of three. Just three. three. Yes, and there will be three for next week. <laughs> um, Oh, it is Jody Ray. Oh, it is. He's Thomas. taking up money. Fulkerson, you are good. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the incredibly talented, brilliant, wonderful, stunning Jody Ray Campbell.
favorite products of that era. <laughs> no, isn't that crazy? We were, I'm sure we were the same clubs back then. Um, I know. I was the I was the cute one in the corner going, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to don't talk to me. He was, he, was, he was my shoe man when I went to Playboy. <laughs> when I was 18, 19 years old, I was at, uh, at, at uh, 54, oh, 54 or something. But I was I was so I was so young and so stupid that I didn't know what was going on, so I was just like, thank God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I know, it was so crazy, I was so young, I was so stupid, I'm so, oh well, yeah, probably, it's probably a good thing. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, how did you, you, what did you think about <laughs> Johnny Ray's performance? I know, I love you so. You are incredibly, wonderfully talented, brilliant. Every style, everything you do, I love you so. So judges, what do you think? King Frank? Okay, there's Donna Summers, the Disco Queen. And Jody Ray, the reigning Disco Queen. Yeah. Honey, don't leave me this way. Thank you, exactly, I know. So, Stacy, I saw you like singing the words over here. Of course, I mean, even though I was born just a little late to truly enjoy the era, it is totally my favorite era of music. And I love every song. And I have to tell you, Miss Jody Ray, you are, as Mr. Luna said, fabulous. Thank you, Susie. Told you. I know we all think that. Tony Conrad, if you say one damn bad thing about Jody Ray, but like Jody Campbell, the entire audience is going to come over here and beat your mother's ass. Thank you. So you cannot get up again. Oh, so. okay. Uh, Tom, it doesn't matter how nice you are to Jody Ray, she is never, never going to sleep with you. Oh. Okay, just, just, just... Perhaps you mean, just, perhaps you mean again. Just accept that, well, I mean... Perhaps you mean again. I do, just ask the audience. Now, Jody Ray, I, I hope you get put out of this contest very shortly. I one, knew, knew, one because, I shut up Tom, one because it would look so bad on your curriculum vitae, and two because you can't sing again in Aqua Idol if you win, so we get to come back. Somebody just threw me a tissue, I think they meant it to be a dollar, I'm not right. <laughs> no, they, they sucked, whoever it was. But Tony, I already did win. But she won, she's a verbal winner. I, I won I won in 2008 for Wesley. But she's not singing for herself this time. She's singing for somebody else. So it's allowed. Yes. Yes. It's allowed yes. during just, just for this. Just, just, just for this. Yeah. Okay. She's Sorry. already a winner. A former winner of... of why, don't you give them, why don't you give the money and the fame back so she can come back Thank to you. Thank you, the incredible. Thank you, Tony. Shane, come here. Oh, Shane. let's get on. Let's no, 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 Shane, come here. I need to know what you're doing. We have um, Father so Count the Money. Find out who's coming in next week. We are going to find out what the uh, what the candidates uh, are up to this week. What are you doing? Um, let's see. Saturday morning there is a very large yard sale at 3539 Eagle Avenue. 3539 Eagle Avenue. Eagle Avenue. Everybody that loves a yard sale. It's a large yard sale. There's a big sale. I'm doing 50 50 raffle that day. You do not have to be present to win. And then that evening, Saturday evening, at the Beach South Marriott is the second chance to come. Second chance to come? I know. Everybody's so excited about that. Congratulations on everything. Who's next to come up here? I need another contestant. I mean, one of our. Look at you. Come up here. I, no, come here. ML, get up here. ML, what is your next uh, What is your next event? We are doing a happy hour on Friday over at the Bottle Tap for 538, and uh, we have a band. Who's playing? Um, the program Rand and Rogue. I love those guys. Oh, you're going to have such a good time. 
and we love happy hour too. So, uh, so during happy hour, it's all the money, or like some of the money, and do you have a tree on there to get gravels and prizes and stuff? We do, we do. We have the silent auction items, the super raffle items, the 50-50, we've got gift bartenders, cherry sweet tea, and I can't tell you. Sherry Sweet Tea, I love me some Sherry Sweet Tea. been a little bit of the aisle down on her show. Oh, yeah. She's from Kentucky, you know. She's a Kentucky girl. She's a beautiful girl. Lexington. Okay. I haven't seen her naked, but probably will eventually. Well, we have. Can I tell more stuff? Okay. On Monday, we're doing an Italian wine tasting up at the Grand Bin, and that's going to be fantastic from 6 to 8. And then our signature event, our final event that's going to cap off the campaign, is a fine wine and art auction at Guy Ross's house in those beautiful gardens. You rock. Thank you so much for everything. Congratulations and good luck. We love you so much. Thank you so much. Shane. Shane, I love you so. You're amazing and wonderful. I can't tell you how much. Who's next? I need another. I need another. Look, it's Clyde, everybody. Wait. Tomorrow night at 10 p.m. at the bottle cap, we're going to do a pajama party. Pajama? We have $5 Grey Goose drinks, 10 till 2 p.m., which is going to be a scratch for me, but we'll make it. We also have a bacon and beer event at Bistro Soleil on Sunday, 11 a.m. The brunch, beer and bacon. What sounds better than that? Brunch beer tasting. $25, gonna get your beer and bacon. Bacon! Bacon! I like bacon! 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 I like bacon! Beer or food. So anyway, you're doing a pajama. You said pajama. Where the fuck are you from? Pajama. It's a pajama club. I'm from Alabama. Pajama. Pajama, pajama. Let's call the whole thing up. I'm from an English bar. So it's a pajama party. Okay, it's lingerie. So, what if, what if you don't wear pajamas or pajamas? And you're still walking the market. You're still walking. So, going. So, I guess if a uh, little uh, Joey and little Joey show up. Super guest bartender, Aaron, my singer. Oh, we love Aaron! I know. Thank you so much. Congratulations and good luck with everything you guys rock. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is. such an amazing uh, time together. Jewels, ladies and gentlemen. I love me some jewels. How are you? Great, great. I was late. I know, you just got off work, so here you are, finally here. Judges, you know jewels, don't you? Have you ever seen her naked? Because there are pictures of her that you will not believe. I know. Well. I'm going to tell you, my next event is tomorrow night at the Eaton Street Theater, which is the corner of Eaton and Bahama Street, and it's not the tropic. We're going to be showing the movie Criss Cross, which stars Goldie Hawn, and Goldie Hawn portrays me in the movie. This is a story that was written in 19... well, I'm not sure when it's yeah, not it. So anyway, uh, Bud Brewer is going to be there tomorrow night. He was my first boss in Key West when I worked at the Esquire Lounge as a dancer. Stripper! Stripper! <laughs> I was at 27. So I'm going to have photos there, documents signed by Golden Lawn. And it's going to be such an exciting event. We did a dry run the other night and I couldn't believe how it touched my heart. Uh, looking at it, uh, it's filmed here in Key West. So you're all going to love it. You can go, oh my God, that's this street, that street. There are locals in the movie, Goldie Hawn, and she's playing me in the movie. Please come. It's going to be a once in a lifetime event. I know, I have to say, I, I am actually, this is the only, I am actually going to be there tomorrow night. I am coming. I have to tell you that during when they were filming that, all my friends were working on the movie. So with Goldie Hawn, I got to meet most, most of our friends were the crew. They were the, the film guys and the, you know, the best boys and the, you know, the, the whatever. They, we knew all the, we knew all the, so we were always on the set back 
man, that was like 1990. 1990 they filmed this movie. And it was about your life, which is incredible. I didn't know that at the time. I wish I'd known you then. But, but I've known you forever now, it seems like. And I love you so, and congratulations. This is going to be an amazing event. If you don't know the, the theater, it's where we did, we opened uh, um, Flamingos. Flamingo Follies 20 years ago there. Okay, we have, we have. So that's where it is. That's where, the, that's where you're doing this. And it's, I can't wait to see it again. Tom. See you, yeah. So, as we got two experts on the stage, can I ask what exactly does a best boy grip do? None of your fucking business. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jules! And next up, ladies and gentlemen, who is our... Joey, come up here. Joey! Joey, Joey, Joey! Trying to help Jules down. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Yes, of course you are. And uh, what's your next thing here? I got a full moon party tomorrow night at the Bagatelle restaurant. Upstairs in the back. Ooh! I can't tell you the things I've done upstairs in the back car up there over the last 25 years. Oh, I can. I know you can't, so shut up. So anyway, so anyway, oh, I know, it's great. So you're, so that's tomorrow night? Yeah, and, and I really, I gotta go see Criss Cross because while your friends were working the set, my friends were actually working the boats. Okay, so Criss Cross tomorrow afternoon, I mean tomorrow night, and then after that we go to see you at the Blue Moon Party at the Bank of Tell. Do we have like purple Cecils? <laughs> yes, we do. We I know. Like, we love Cecil. I know. So we have purple Cecils up there. Yeah. Okay. I want to talk about a couple things else too. My friend Jenny over here is an artist, and she put up a painting that is one of three in the world, which is really cool. It's her own design, and I would love for her to tell you about it. But just so you know, just we're doing a silent auction on it for the next week, and it's worth a bunch of money. I hope you pay attention to it. I'll be posting on Facebook and my website and stuff. Go in there and make a bid on it. It's beautiful art. It's one of a kind. And speaking of art, next um, Monday night, I have a show down at the Sunset Pier. And uh, Rick Worth, the world famous artist, has painted a... Rick Worth was awesome. He painted a 1997 Mustang, and we're unveiling it. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's gorgeous. Are you auctioning it off? We are, we are doing a reverse raffle, which means the very last ticket that is pulled wins the vehicle. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we'll, you'll, 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 you go talk to everybody about that. So reverse raffle, you get a car. That's important. 75 bucks a ticket, two for 125, includes dinner at the Sunset Pier, zero to all. It's going to be a great party, you got live entertainment. Uh, I'm doing that too. We got, I'm make, doing that. We got live entertainment, we got a big tent, and you got 150 prizes. We're going to give away so much shit. Okay, I'm doing that. The last two things okay, I'm doing. Okay, good. You pull my microphone away from me again, I'm going to kick you in the nuts. I can get the fuck off the stage. Thank you, my kids. Get it up. All right. I have one more. Friday night, right in front of Ricks and Dirty Harriet's, we have the Weed Mobile. It is, it is built, designed and built in, 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 in... With hemp. It's built entirely of hemp. Yes, it's made of hemp. That's why we call it the Weed Mobile. It's the only one in the world. The only one in the world made of hemp. It's a sports car. It's badass. you got to see it. You'll probably see it in a newspaper tomorrow because we did a photo shoot. But and, and here's the deal. You can take your picture inside of it. You can go sit there and just give them like 20 bucks or something for his campaign. And you can have your picture in, inside of a car that's made entirely of him. It's true. It's true. And this is the thing. It's great. You will be the, you'll be the only person you know with your picture in a car made entirely of him. You can put it on Facebook and people go, I don't believe that. But it's true. And it's only cost you 20 bucks, right? It doesn't have to cost 20. If you want to put in 10 to sit in the weed room. No, at least 20. Put in at least 20. Yeah, we would love 20. Yeah, yeah. 20 or 50. Every yeah. dollar counts for it's out there. I know. I love you so. You are amazing. Joey, never to share again. I love you so. I'll see you tomorrow, night. And next up, who's, uh, who's, oh, oh it's I really sincerely want to thank thanks to Bill Heller for joining me tonight to sing for me. Phenomenal, thank you so much. Thank you. Alright, okay, thank you. Alright, baby. We love to help you out. Okay, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, give it a try. That was not what I care about. No, 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 we can take it. Alright, thank you. Make it the most, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. I'm gonna tell you who's coming back next week.
after we hear, they should know one of the most incredible singers ever on this island, Michelle Travis! I know, look, and she's singing, if you want to put money in this, it'll go to everybody. It'll go to everybody who is performing this evening. Michelle, I love you so. You were incredible, brilliant, wonderful. Give it up for Michelle. Michelle, everybody. This disc I picked out a disc I song. This is a song I thought I was going to have my baby on when I was pregnant.
attorney next to me. And I want to say I love you guys so much. And actually, I love all you guys. You're the reason why we're here. I mean, you're the reason why everybody's up here. So you guys are amazing. I love you. Uh, it's I can't tell you. I know I've been I've been one of those people. If you don't know, I I ran for King a million years ago. You know how it is. Stacy knows. She's a duchess. We have the big sisters, we have the Randy King Queen. It's such an amazing thing because you, I mean, what happens is you realize the place you love is like way beyond what you think. I mean, it's like you, you know you love living here, but then you find out that people are the most incredible people in the entire world, and there's nowhere you can ever live. You can try to move to Wilton Manors, but you'll be back in six months. That's all I'm saying. I know, you used to, and then you moved back. I know, it's, there's nowhere better. And, and when you run for King of Fantasy, when you Queen of Fantasy, you actually find out really quickly why you live here, and you can never, ever move. It's like crazy. I love you guys so much. I want to say thank you once again to Aaron. Aaron Lee, thank you so much for all the work you're doing for our community, and I love you so, and uh, Rick and Amy, how brilliant are you guys? Nick, I love you. You make everybody look and sound fabulous. I love you. Cassie's in the back. If you haven't gone to see her, see her. Go see the back part. Judges, thank you so much. Stacy, thank you for coming back. And uh, Frank. Former Reigning King and Duchess, thank you so much, and I want to say thank you uh, to the man over here, whatever his name is. Oh yes, Tony Conrad, you made me really laugh really hard tonight, thank you so much. But it's all about the King and Queen, sometimes the best running. You guys are amazing. And I have right here, who's, who's returning? Returning next week is... Oh, Pretty glasses. Stop that time. Chuck for Clyde. Chuck. 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 Nobody even knew who the hell you were before you started this. Come on up here, Chuck. You were amazing. Look at Chuck. I mean, we love you. I can't tell you how much. It's such a great pleasure to meet you. I can't tell you now. He's a great friend, and now he calls me and let me go. He got $20 to borrow. Dollar to yeah. yeah. And next up, of course, is uh, you can come up here. Uh, with Jody, Jody, Rick, Jody. No, I, well, I've known you forever, and not gay, it says here right here, not gay, but very tall, not gay, very tall. Next week, I need you to do one song about love with the song love in it, with the with the with the with the word love in it. Song. And I need a song about a party. Party would be good. Party would be great. If you can find your song. Of party. I'm gonna do that. It doesn't matter who you're with. You can be with the with your with the person that uh, you're representing or not. But I need a duet, and I need some big blowout songs. Love Party Duet. Love Party Duet. So this is the three songs each. Three songs each next week. Here they are. 